Now, let us look at the breakthrough. I prophesy to somebody today, tonight is the last time you remember that battle of your life. Because from background to battle, that is not your bus stop. Your final bus stop is where? Breakthrough. That is what I mean by battle for breakthrough. Hmm. As I close, therefore, the breakthrough of Job. Just go to Job chapter 42. Thank you. And the Lord in capital letter is the Elohim, the mighty warrior, the great physician. He is the all-sufficient almighty. His mightiness subdues every scheme of Satan. Can I hear a big amen? amen. So he said there, and the Lord turned the captivity of Job. That is the breakthrough point. For somebody saying the loudest amen tonight, your captivity has come to an end. A new turnaround is happening to your life. I thought I would hear a believing amen. And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed. This is a praying conference. We must spend some time to pray. You have been eating, 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 eating. Now it's time for you to pray. Am I speaking to somebody? When he prayed, some people complain instead of praying. Prayer has the power to turn darkness into light. Prayer is our greatest weapon that migrates a man from the realm of battle to the seasons of breakthrough. When he prayed, that is why tonight, thank God we are brother to brother, you will hold somebody. And every prayer point coming from this pulpit, don't pray for yourself, just pray for your friend. While you are busy praying for your friend, he's praying for you, heaven is moved, he's touched by the feeling of your infirmity. Pray in the Holy Spirit, pray in your understanding, pray with all kinds of prayer in this conference. All the men that experience the magnifying anointing of God, they got through prayer. Jacob wrestled. He said, wife, go about. Take chips, go and eat it. His first son, he said, just go. The last baby of the house is Lord. He said, relax. And when everybody have gone, he said, now. Today is today. Enough is enough of you, devil. Either I die here or I rise here. Are you getting me? He troubled heaven until an angel was dispersed. As I study my Bible, the angel that came there to Jabok is the same guy that came to Peter in chapter 12 of Acts. My research. If I'm wrong, when we get to heaven, I will look for there and ask them. So the guy holds him. He said, I can't let you go except you bless me. You must change my story. In the place of prayer, he wrestled until the breaking of the day. I said, now tell me what is your name. Now, I have promoted you. Somebody is carrying promotion toga tonight. You are now a prince and like God, you have power to prevail. Look at Job here. He prayed to sneeze life out of him. To confront his manhood, his masculinity, to bring him down. And the man engaged in prayer of praise. Mm. I have one of my sons. He's one of my first converts in those days in this town. Look at it here. This boy will walk with me. Timba mo timba at the day he won't go home. So I had some privilege, and then we just God just show us mercy. Short time service. Finished from uni, learn read accounting. And then went to just push him to Kaduna did NDA and graduated as second lieutenant in Navy. Promotion, promotion. Then three years crisis came. That Baba visited and said, you are moving, moving too fast. So confusion happened. The commando in type of the naval formation in Calabar, they just kill something and lie against him. Because he's in charge of finance and he will not let them do money. It's my son. 
the child of God. So they say, signal came that they should sack him. I say, you are going nowhere, brother. They did everything in and out. They could not find anything. That woman said, I say, this guy must leave. So he traveled from Paraqua and came on this altar. They demote him. Two step backward. Three years ago. He drove. And I put him on this altar. We started singing choruses until we forgot to pray. I said, oh God, you can go back. He just called me. Day before yesterday, I said, Daddy, I said, what is happening? He said, Daddy, this is something. I said, what happened? Tell me on time. He said, signal just came now. I can't tell my wife, I can't tell anybody, you are the one, you are the source. Signal just came from Abuja that what happened three years ago is a mistake. They only persecute you. So that they say they should return his rank that they took three years ago. The promotion he should have missed for those three years. The salary area of three years. Bound everything. Take him. They say move him to Lagos. So God is in this place and we know it's not. So on this altar, if you can roll here, roll, do something. Be radical, you know, be dissatisfied with your position. If you are never dissatisfied, you are going nowhere. So look at what Job did, and God brought a breakthrough. So I'm prophesying to somebody saying the loudest amen, a turning point for your life. Whatever ties you down, ties down your marriage, that miscarriage, that trouble, that crisis, you are always laboring like an elephant, you eat like a rat. By the pronouncement of heaven on this altar, that story is changing. There is a mantle that is coming to lift you up and look at it. God turned the captivity. Job is no longer here. You are the one. May God turn your captivity around.